Yo, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Only truth here. No more tricks, no more lies, only truth. Boom. Hey, this my open letter to FanDuel. Hey, look, FanDuel. Check this out. Look. You had a good run. You had a really good run. But you fucked up because you started. You think you slick, but you ain't slick as me. Words of my dad. You think you slick, but you ain't slick. So I couldn't help but notice this trend that's been happening with sev several parlays, a stack, staggering amount of parlays coming up short by one constantly. I'm talking weeks on end. I'm seeing, I'm seeing so many screenshots on social media on Reddit. Oh man, I almost had it. Oh, it was a twenty legger. Missed by one. Next day, same guy. Missed by one again. And you know what? I've been that guy a couple times. LeBron. I, I even made a safe one before, like LeBron to get twenty. That's how much he had that night. LeBron had 19. Yes. LeBron had 19. The night I bet. Oh, yeah, this is a sure thing. $20. Let me get some easy money real quick. And he had 19. Must have been a lot of people that bet on him to get 20 that night, huh? But, look, man. Look, I'm going to just let you know. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Because it's just no way. It's no way that I make a parlay on Monday and it misses by one. I make a parlay on Tuesday and it misses by one. Make a parlay on Wednesday. Guess what? It missed by one. Thursday, Friday. Look, man. It didn't miss by one. Now, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm Sherlock Holmes or anything, but let's be honest, G. <clears throat> it's not adding up. The math ain't math. So, I don't want to expose y'all publicly. This is still a small channel, you know, but I know what you're doing. And it starts right here. Like I said, you think you're slick, but you ain't slick. So, I know what you're doing. You're getting all the people's data together. It's probably some little supercomputer in Las Vegas compiling all the data, telling where the weaknesses are in it, where to get the the max pain for certain bets. You know, shit like that. Yeah, I said max pain. That's some that's some options trading type theory. Because I know that's rigged too, the stock market. Oh yeah. But that comes later. That comes later. I got a whole think tank working on that but uh so a rash of people are missing parlays by one so i put it together i know what's going on man you have this data comes in tells you okay we just make sure this one make sure he doesn't hit a three make sure this dude doesn't hit 25 and we're gonna get a shit ton of money tonight off that so you tell the old dudes in the skybox what you doing the old dudes in the skybox, they the ones that's remote controlling these players. I I don't have proof of this, but I'm, I'm at the point where some of these NBA players, these key NBA players, are remote controlled or something, dog. The old dudes in the skybox, like, jacking into their consciousness, playing them like 2K. It's something along those lines because it's just not adding up. Like, I sh look, LeBron not getting 20 that night, bruh, you owe me $7,000 cause that was the payout. Like I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to be reimbursed $7,000. I would really appreciate that. Another one, another one. World Cup week, right? When um, I made a 10 legger, guess what happened? <laughs> you guessed it, it missed by one. Apparently Iraq beat USA, but it missed by one. You owe me seven thousand dollars for that one also. So we at fourteen thousand dollars right now in winnings that I should have had. 
had this not been extremely rigged. Uh, what's another one? Bobby Portis. Oh, yeah. The old dude controlling him that night. Oh, yeah. I, I already know. You called him up. Like, hey, hey, I know how you usually want to shoot threes, but look, you got to chill out tonight. Chill out with the three corners. We're trying to get this money. Bobby Portis didn't hit any threes that night. I needed him to hit one three. Missed out on what? $6,000 that night. Because I made a big parlay for that. Missed by one. I think it was a 20 legger. So, what I'm getting at here? I don't want to get a class action lawsuit together or anything. But it, it could go there. Because I got a lot of Facebook friends, man. And a lot of Facebook friends connecting dots. You know I'm connecting dots. And you know what happened when dots get connected, right? I'm going to take you back to kindergarten, man. You, you know when you connect all those dots, you get the full picture, dog. So, it can, it can really get that ugly. Alright, so, I'm going to need the reimbursement. Straight up. I need that. No more tricks, no more lies, only truth. Yeah, alright, FanDuel.